Today we're going to review how to create a macro to protect and unprotect worksheets. Please support this channel by giving us a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and turn on alerts for more videos on Excel like this one. So our goal is to create some buttons on our quick access tool bar that will allow us with one click to protect all the worksheets in a workbook and then when needed to click another button that will unprotect all the worksheets. This will save a lot of time, um, it makes the whole process more simple and you do not have to remember your password after you've protected and unprotected the worksheets. And again, once you've created this, it will be available on every workbook, uh, new and existing, uh, that you use in Excel. So I've created this sample workbook, and as you can see, I have three sample sheets in here. Before we can start talking about protecting a worksheet, we need to determine in the worksheet what cells we want to lock and unlock. So a locked cell means we cannot edit it when the worksheet is locked. And if we unlock the cell, that means we can edit those cells. So you can either select one cell at a time or you can select a range then we're just going to right click. We're going to go to Format Cells. And if you go all the way to the end here to Protection, we can uncheck Locked. So again, if it's the check marks in here for Locked, it means it's going to be a lock cell when we protect the workbook or the worksheet. And if we remove it, it means it will not be protected. We're going to hit OK. Now to manually protect a worksheet, you need to come up to Format, right here where it says Protect Sheet. Now please note, um, you can also place check marks here and edit how what you want happening when you uh, protect the worksheet. So for the first two, you can determine if you want them to be able to or yourself be able to select lock cells or select unlock cells. So usually I leave both open but uh, again you can determine what you want to do. Then you've got to put in your password. I'm just going to put in one, two, three, four. Hit OK. And it's going to tell me to re-enter my password. So now you can see I can change the number of units sold. I can't change the price. I can't change the sales or any of the other locked cells. Okay, so now let's unprotect this worksheet over to Format, Unprotect Worksheet, type in our password, and now we can test to make sure that this worksheet is unprotected. Just click on a lock cell, and you can see I can enter data into that lock cell. Now, if I needed to lock and unlock all of these worksheets at the same time. It could be a lot of work, especially if you had, let's say, 10 or 15 different worksheets in a workbook. You'd have to manually go and, un and unlock every single one as you need access to them. So what we want to do is create a macro to lock and unlock all worksheets. So what a macro is, um, if you have tasks that you do repeatedly, uh, we can record a macro to automatically do those tasks for us. Um, it is an action or sets of actions 
that you can run as many times as you want. And when we record a macro, uh, we're recording all of the mouse clicks and keystrokes. So to access macros, we're going to come over here to our quick access toolbar, customize quick access toolbar, click on that, and we're going to scroll down to more commands. We're going to go into the customize ribbon section, and we're going to want to put a check mark here right beside developer. Hit OK. The developer tab now we have access to. We click on it and we have access to create a macro um, so we can record one and uh, all the tools we need to record a macro are now at our fingertips. So to create this macro we're actually going to be um, using Visual Basics and what this is it's a third generation event driver program language. Um, it was first released in 1991. It is really easy to use and learn. Um, I'm going to create a future video on macros and visual basics in the future. Now we want this macro to be available for all workbooks, not just one. Um, so anytime we're opening up or starting a new workbook, we're going to be able to access uh, this macro that we're creating. So, in order to access it in all workbooks, we're going to need to save it under Personal Macros Workbook. So you can see right here where it says B B A Project Personal. This is where we're going to need to save our macros. Now, if this doesn't show up for you, you're going to need to create and record a macro just a simple macro, and then this will then appear. So to do that, let's just close out of this. You're going to click on Macros, and down here, Macros in, you're going to, like I said, want to save it under Personal. And then once you've done this, when you go into Visual Basics, it will appear. Again, you can just do a couple of keystrokes, mouse clicks. Uh, the macro doesn't have to be anything too complicated, just a simple macro, and then this will appear. Okay, next we want to create a module. By doing that, we're going to right-click on our personal, hit Insert, and we want to insert a module. See, Module 3 came up here. Just expand this. Okay. Now we want to highlight Module 3. And we're going to go to the code window now where we will create the macro to protect the sheets. So first thing we need to do is name it. Next, we need to create a variable that will contain the information, like our password. Uh, we can call our variable anything we want. Okay, so type in dim, and I'll put w sheet. Um, next, we need to add a type. Um, so this type is going to be a worksheet. So we're going to say as. Hit enter. So that is my variable. Next, we need to add a couple of loopings that will loop through a couple of objects in our collection. Um, so we have a collection of worksheets in our workbook. So to do this, we need to add four each worksheet in active work book 
and then dot work sheets. And hit enter. Now we have to add a variable, and this is going to be our password. So we're going to type in worksheet. Protect password equals, and now you can um, put in any password you want. So we'll just type in password, hit enter. Next, we need to tell it to do it for all the worksheets in the workbook. So it will loop through it all for all of them. So next, we're just going to put next worksheet and then end. And we can click right below it. So now we've created our macro to protect the worksheets. Next we need to create our macro to unprotect the worksheets. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy all this, hit Control C after we highlight it, come down here and Control V and hit enter and add end sub. So the only difference here is we need to change it so that it unprotects it. So we're going to rename it unprotect sheets. And then just here on the fourth line down, we want to make sure that we type in unprotect. The other key thing is we need to make sure that our passwords match as well. So now we've created both our macros to protect and unprotect the worksheets. Okay, now we can close this out. And our next task is we want to create the buttons on the quick access toolbar so we can quickly access our two new macros. So what we want to do is click here to customize quick access toolbar. We're going to go to more commands and this time we're going to stay on quick access toolbar and right now you can see it's under popular commands. We're going to click and go to macros and you can see I have a few of them in here but the one we're going to use is to protect sheets, the one we just created we're going to go add and the one we created unprotect sheets. Now we can customize the icon here just by clicking on modify and to unlock sorry to protect the worksheet I usually like to use this little lock icon hit OK and to unprotect I like to use the key and hit OK. Now we're done. We can hit OK. And you can see they appeared right on our quick access toolbar. So now we can test them out. So right now our sheet is unprotected. Let's just oops, go to home. You can go here and you can see it's unprotected because it wants us to protect the sheet. And we can access all of our cells. So let's just go to the lock. And we can test it out now. So let's try to change meatball. It's protected. And let's see if we can change this because this is an unprotected cell. And you see it works. 
Now we haven't unprotected any of the cells in the other two worksheets, so again you're going to have to go through that exercise and unprotect um, all the cells that you want access to, so we can at least test it out. So it's all protected, and sample three. So you can see it worked. Now let's unprotect our worksheets and we can just test it out. See if I can type in 200 here and you see it works. Please make sure you save your work when you're done. And now anytime you um, open up a new workbook or an existing workbook, um, you'll have access to these new created buttons right on your quick access toolbar and it'll work identical for any workbook that you want to protect and unprotect. I've put two links above, uh, one for a video for summits and averages and another one on tips on fixing your mouse cursor when the drag and drop feature isn't working. Uh, guys, thank you very much and please support this channel. Um, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this one.